Good afternoon. I'm Trixie Cruz Angeles for Luminous on Facebook. Um, I was called out today by Vera Files who fact-checked one of our Facebook lives and I'm here to issue an erratum. They are correct. Uh, according to Vera Files, I said that the uh, Senate investigation into Andy Bautista had been terminated and they are correct in saying that the investigation is still active. Furthermore, um, they, uh, according to Vera Files, they checked with Senator Escudero and that Senator Escudero says that the arrest warrant on Andy Bautista has not yet been withdrawn. So this is also correct. So, uh, however, we made the statement that the arrest warrant had been withdrawn because Senator Escudero himself had announced its recommendation. However, since uh, Senator Escudero merely recommended to the Senate Committee on Banking and Finance, uh, the committee hasn't yet completely, I mean, a majority of the committee has not yet completely signed the resolution withdrawing the warrant on Andy Bautista, which actually for all of us is good news. So uh, the, this is to say that the Senate investigation on Andy Bautista, well, it's not an investigation on him, no? But it's uh, on the investigation actually on Luzon Development Bank. Um, therefore, it is still active. So, in and uh, consequently, the warrant of arrest issued to Andy Bautista is likewise still active, even if the recommendation had already been made to withdraw it. Anong ibig sabi? Ano yung consequences po nito? Ibig sabihin po when it comes to Andy Bautista, uh, and well, not when it comes to Andy Bautista, the investigation itself. Doon sa banking and finance is still active as to whether or not they still are going to be needing the resource person named Andy Bautista, Andres Bautista, it remains to be seen. So uh, I am correctly called out by Vera Files that uh, the Senate investigation is still active and although the warrant has been recommended for withdrawal, it has not yet been withdrawn because the resolution has not yet been fa signed by a majority of the committee. Now, why am I uh, um, why am I issuing this correction? Well, first of all, uh, Verifiles did call me out. They fact-checked me, and it's okay with me. Why am I uh, subscribing to the fact-checking done by Verifiles? Although I do not agree with many of their members or some of their writers, I agree that we should all fact check each other, you know, call each other out. If there is no malice, um, uh, if there is, no, kumbaga, if it is correct naman yung sinasabi nila, then there is nothing to be lost if we correct ourselves also. So, okay lang yan sa akin. I have exception with the manner with which Vera Files addresses me, but that is something that I will take up with them. But, uh, this is to correct myself, the warrant of arrest against Andy Bautista issued by the Senate uh, has not yet been withdrawn, but we are correct in saying that uh, Senator Chis Escudero recommended it. Hindi lang po na sign pa yung resolution, uh, completely by the majority of the members of the Senate committee. However, also, the investigation is not yet terminated. Uh, as to whether or not did that investigation will continue with Andy Bautista, that remains to be seen. So, titignan pa natin kung anong next doon. Okay, so, I just wanted to let everybody know that uh, there's a little hope pa left because the uh, this Senate investigation is still active. Meanwhile, while we're here, uh, i-update na lang natin, uh, Andy Bautista is still in the United States, although I understand that his visa might expire soon. Uh, gayon pa man, U.S. visas usually um, can be extended. So, it's possible that even if uh, Mr. Bautista's visa is uh, expiring, it's also possible for him to apply for an extension. Okay? Um, also, uh, the investigation being conducted by the NDI has not yet been filed. As of today, ha, as of this moment, and the last time I checked, and I also checked with uh, Tisha Bautista, the uh, NBI investigation that was looking into the documents that were provided by Tisha Bautista have also, has also not yet been filed with either the State Prosecutor's Office or with the DOJ, uh, with the 
um, city prosecutor's office. So, wala pa rin. Uh, however, you know, nothing can stop us from calling out the NBI na since tapos na yung investigation, why aren't you filing the case? Assuming, of course, that there is a case to be filed. Okay? So, siguro, yun pa. So, it doesn't mean that Andy Bautista is off the hook. Ibig sabihin lang, uh, if the investigation that was being conducted by the NBI has, has been completed, but they have not filed any case with the DOJ yet. Uh, now, there can be two reasons for the non-filing. It's possible that there is no case, but pero malabo yun eh. Uh, because some of the documents you know, already provide at least uh, enough to initiate an investigation into probable cause. Uh, tapos, uh, pero hindi pa nga file ng NBI ngayon, either sa state prosecutor or sa city prosecutor's office. Sabi ni Annie Gatchal, yan, bakit ang tagal? Actually, hindi matagal. Tapos na investigation. Uh, we don't know why the NBI is not filing it yet with the prosecutor's office. At least that is the information that we have been getting from the camp of Mrs. Bautista that the investigation has not yet been filed with the DOJ. Okay? So, it's okay kung napindot nyo yung angry, <laughs> angry uh, emoji. Sabi ni Joji Loyola, for medical reasons, a typical visa extension is a maximum of six months. So, kailan ba yung ano? Hindi ako sure pa sa date kung kailan umalis si Andy Bautista. But I think that uh, with a visa extension of six months, kaya pa niya yan. So, hindi pa, hindi pa yata siya nag-expire. Let me back check on the other questions. Uh, the purpose of this slide is really to make the correct on the Senate investigation. So, um, we will do another Facebook Live later to answer other questions. But I prefer also not to uh, not to discuss the uh, Chris Aquino Moka Uson issue because it has already been discussed in Carambola and has, you know, Asik Uson has already issued her statement. So, uh, let's see how things will turn out uh, later on. Um, are there any other questions in relation lang muna to this matter of uh, uh, the, ano, the, the fact-checking? Uh, sabi ni Matt Bautista, if Andy Bautista is innocent, why is he in the U.S. and not facing his cases here? Well, we can speculate all we want, but, you know, until he comes home and tells us, we will not know for sure, but we can speculate. Sabi ni Myra Verona, ang tanong, Madam, bakit ayaw umuwi ni Andy Bautista? Diba? Somehow it's considered admission of guilt. Uh, ganito yun. Um, you're right. Flight is an indication of guilt. But uh, you ano, you can allege that during a court hearing or, or during the trial. So, uh, it will count against him later on. It could count against him later on. So, let me see. Bakit di pa agad finail ang case ni Bautista? Well, the NBI has not issued a statement concerning that as of this moment. Sabi ni Annie, no case, imposible yun. Sana i-file na nila para naman mag-grill na yan si... Well, if they file the case, hindi siya mag-grill sa Senado. This, the NBI will be filing a case with either the DOJ, with the state prosecutor, or with the city prosecutor's office. So, when that happens, uh, the, it, it will be in the form of a complaint affidavit. Uh, Attorney Bautista will be filing a counter affidavit. So, when you file a counter affidavit, hindi ka po, po nag-grill. So, also, if it is a criminal case, uh, he can opt not to testify. Kasi you, you are, have a right to uh, against self-incrimination. So, pwede siyang hindi magpa, ano, mag-testify on his own. But he has to answer in affidavit form dun sa prosecutor's office. Uh, sabi ni Rosalita, sana makapunta siya ng karambola pag uwi niya. Uh, yes po, uh, welcome naman po kayo. I'll give you a number for coordination later on. Sabi ni Alpin, mabuhay karambolista, just moka from DDS Sydney. Um, sabi ni Dianor, uh, hindi ba si Sap BG ang spokesman ni Mokausan? Alam ko nagbibiro kayo. Sabi ni, ano, 
Uh, hindi muna natin i-discuss niyan. Sabi ni Sarah, will Vera Files share this video? Ayan, sorry, sorry. Um, will Vera Files share this video na you've made your corrections? Grabing attack files page. It's alright. Um, ganito lang po yun. When you're on social media, hindi dapat pikon. Uh, and if they're going to attack me, well, I can always uh, study my options, di ba? I can opt to um, to file the appropriate uh, cases, civil and criminal, against those who are making malicious statements. Pero nung para sa akin, uh, it's simple. We'll issue the correction because tama naman yung sinabi ng Vera Files that uh, the investigation has not yet been terminated. We've double-checked that. And uh, since the resolution has not yet been issued, the warrant of arrest is technically still outstanding. Tama naman sila. Technically, it's still outstanding. But the recommendation has already been made. And the resolution, if I'm not mistaken, is being circulated for signature. So, until that's ano, issued out, tama rin naman yun. So, hindi naman tayo yung type na pag nagkakamali, paninindigan natin yung pagkakamali natin. Uh, the only way that I will be credible enough to give you correct information is if I also agree to be corrected when I am wrong. So, well, I'm, hindi tayo ganon, no? And if people want to say bad things about us, they, then that is also covered by the freedom of speech, except when it becomes libelous. And that's always my option to file a libel case. And that libel case can also, the buy takes a while to prescribe, so I also have some time to, to think about whether or not to file it. So, sabi ni Val Galicia, why, why the very slow cases of Andres Bautista, including the Smartmatic cases? Wait, wait ha, uh, the cases of Andy Bautista, like I said, meron na pong investigation ng NBI, but they, they have not yet been filed with the DOJ. Now, Smartmatic cases. Uh, hindi ako kumpleto dun sa inventory ng Smartmatic. But if you're asking kung bakit ang Smartmatic uli ang sa 2019 elections, if I'm not mistaken, and, um, it is because there is the uh, option in the existing contract of Smartmatic to buy the equipment. So that is what the Comelec exercised. Uh, hi, wow, maybe somebody's watching from Romania. Uh, sabi ni Teddy Gratella, pag may na, patunayan po bang dayaan and abuse naman sa elections, pwede po bang kasuhan din si Bautista? It depends on what his participation is. Kung meron siyang uh, participation that can be proven or there's evidence to support that he participated, ha? it's not enough to just simply know, um, but he has to have participated either by giving consent uh, or, or some kind of encouragement, etc., then that is the time when you can become uh, liable. A case can be filed if there is probable cause. So, magkaka-investigation dyan. Uh, sabi ni Marlon, anong dahilan bakit ang bagal ng NDI? Hindi po natin alam. Uh, sabi ni Sir Merobota, hindi po ba yan matatawag na fugitive kasi nagtatago na siya? Well, at the time kasi that he left, wala pa po siyang mga kaso. Sabi ni Joji, Leola, upon filing of the case, can Andy's passport already be revoked? Well, tatlo nga yung grounds for the revocation of passport. Fugitive from justice, uh, convicted uh, in a criminal case, and if the passport was fraudulently acquired. So, uh, ano yung definition ng fugitive from justice? If a warrant of arrest has been issued and he knows about it at umiiwas siya. So, yun, fugitive na siya kapag meron na na-issue po na warrant. Uh, uh, sabi ni Vic, harapin niya ang issue sa Pilipinas. Uh, referring to Andres Bautista, huwag siyang tumakas o magtago kung meron, dapat linawin or mag-testify. Sabi ni Kix, for sure, di lang naman si Andy ang responsible sa lahat ng nangyari, right? Pwede ba ma-hold responsible lahat ng may involved dyan? Well, like I said, there has to be evidence. Um, of course, we understand that what you're saying, that um, Attorney Bautista cannot act alone. But, uh, in order to charge other people, we have to have evidence sufficient to uh, prove probable cause. Sabi ni Lee Cooper Fulkerson, why is the NBI not fi- Ayan, sorry. Medyo mahina ngayon ang internet signals. So, 
Why is the NBI not filing a case? We don't know. The NBI has not issued a statement yet. So you're right in asking the question, but we don't have any answers yet. So what we will do is we will check with some of the people in the NBI to see if anybody is willing to, to give us information about that. Sabi ni Locus Malenka about the VP recount. Oh, we'll, we'll deal with other issues later on. Let's just deal with Andy Bautista today because yeah. All right. There you go. Sorry. Uh, because of the signals, we're going to have to cut this short. No? So um, so let's just wrap up. First of all, uh, the Verifiles is correct in calling us out. Uh, the Senate investigation uh, into the uh, bank in banking and finance that relates to Andy Bautista has not been terminated. Uh, the warrant of arrest is technically not yet withdrawn, although Senator Chisa Scudero has recommended its withdrawal given the answers provided by Andy Bautista's lawyer. Um, but the only reason it has not yet been withdrawn is because hindi pa po uh, na issue yung resolution. So that we uh, we are issuing this Facebook Live uh, to constitute an erratum on the previous statements made that the, the committee had terminated the investigation and withdrawn the warrant. Uh, yun lang po. Um, mahina po kasi yung signals. We will go back on Facebook Live again. I'll post on the page and ask for the topics that you would like to discuss. But I would beg off from discussing uh, ASEC MOCA and... Uh, Miss Aquino and uh, Special Assistant to the President Bongo because from what I understand uh, the things are still happening and uh, maybe it would be best that we we discuss matters when there's more information that is available. I would like to thank everybody for uh, for the, the questions and for, for watching today. Uh, please don't forget to share. For those of you who have not yet followed, uh, do, pl do click like and follow on this Facebook page, Luminous by Clixi Cruz Angeles and Ahmed Pablinawan. There's also a YouTube channel, Clixi Cruz Angeles, that you can subscribe to. Thank you very, very much. We will be posting on the wall and asking for the topics that you would like to discuss. We can go back live this evening, signals permitting. The weather, I think, is making the signals bad. But, you know, don't fact check me on that yet because I don't have enough information. Thank you very much. I will see you again maybe tonight.